Tell me, Ronnie, you won an award at the AHA National. Uh, tell me all about it. Well, uh, most prestigious award, I guess, for a chef, chef of the year. Something I've always aspired, something, something I just, I knew I could do it. And um, I remember when starting with uh, GHM, uh, Patrick asked me. So GHM is Gallagher, Gallagher, Gallagher Hotel, Hotel Management. Management. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, Patrick asked, well, where do you see yourself in five years? And uh, I said, well, I want to be the best chef available and I, I want to, you know, take this on board with this company. So here we are, I guess, eight and a half years later, a little late, but um, <laughs> and, yeah, we've and done you're it. And you are the best, uh, uh, the award again was? Uh, chef of the chef Year. Chef of the Year, and that's national, that's all all over Australia, that's uh, that's pretty darn good, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, tell me, when did you decide to become a chef? Well, um, my family's always had restaurants, and uh, just in the spare time, you know, the weekends off school and whatnot, I'd just jump in, jump in the car and head down. We had a little uh, vegetarian restaurant in Coogee and there wasn't much there at the point in time but uh, I used to work there and think, you know what, this, this, this could work. You know? At the age of 12 years old I'm like, well, let's go through this HSC and see where we end up and uh, from there on I just... But do you like the idea of being a chef from the oh, age yeah, of 12? The, yeah, yeah, I like the thrill of it, you know, the rush, getting, getting stuck into it more or less. That's good. Tell me, Ronnie, how much training does it involve to get to where you've gotten to at this stage? Well, you, you've got to have you got to have the passion to begin with. You know, there's got to be something inside of you, and it's quite a lot of training. I mean, even to this day, I learn something new, whether it could be from from my apprentice chefs or you know head chefs, could be anyone. You're always learning, and you've just got to be willing to learn and focus on what you're doing. So it's not a job, it's a passion. Really. It is, it's if definitely a passion and there's, there's, a, there's an art to it as well. It's, yeah. you know. But if you haven't got the passion, you're probably in the wrong, uh, no, in the wrong job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. What's the best part about being a chef? Um, the rush of it, I think. And just, just the thrill of, you know, you've got 200 people coming in and you've got to put up every meal just as perfect as your last one and have the meal out in orderly time and you know, all that sort of, just, yeah, just the feel so of it. So it's a real buzz, it's an adrenaline yeah. rush, and uh, so every time you've got a, you know, virtually every every lunchtime, every dinner, every, yeah. and it's a, if it's just a bigger Just the nervousness function, before, the, yeah. before the lunch, you know, if you're not nervous, <laughs> you're not, you're more or less not going to have a good lunch service. <laughs> so just being nervous and jumping in on it and making it happen and then the sense of achievement at the yeah, end of it. Yeah, doing it each, each day, that's pretty special. Okay, you've told me the best part about being a chef. What's the worst part? Uh, being in the position I am, I would have to say chefs calling in sick seems oh. to be an ongoing thing and uh, just, you know, the reliability is, it's not the best. <laughs> you know, trying to, you're set, you're ready to go and then there's always something, but you soldier on and you push through it. But so how, I, do you, how do you solve that problem? Uh, you jump in and do it yourself? Well, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, definitely. So you you would, just you take the ball by the horn and, you know, away you go. Ronnie, we shot a video of, uh, of you and David Park doing a, uh, uh, and I remember it was, uh, it was so good you were cooking lamb shanks. Uh, that's, oh, been, yes. that's been downloaded 21,016 times up to, wow. <laughs> up to well, this morning. The last morning. time I looked it was 10,000, but <laughs> well, it was 21,000, that's oh, pretty, wow. uh, pretty special. Now is, uh, is lamb shanks uh, uh, a favorite of yours, your favorite dish? Uh, I like stewed dishes. I've always been a big fan of you know, slow cooking process and just the way the meat falls off the bone and, and you know, it's just amazing, just the silky flavour of the um, stew. <clears throat> Ron, do you have a favourite dessert you like to prepare? Well yes, uh, I'm, when it comes to desserts I, I like to keep it simple but get it right, so the creme brulee the, the infamous creme brulee is... Oh, I've uh, had your creme brulee, it's beautiful, I yeah. love it. <laughs> love it. Uh, so, um, <laughs> every time we replace it with another dessert on the menu, it, we just uh, just get the demand for it. So it's back on, and uh, better than ever, just, just to get a dessert so simple, right, and it's just wonderful, yeah. the simplicity of it. Nice feel, Yeah. nice feel. Brilliant. Uh, and um, as we get to the end of this, any advice for aspiring chefs? Uh, have the passion, stay focused, and just anything you put up, whether it's a bowl of fries or 
a burger or a beautiful main meal or a dessert, it's got to be perfect. Be to perfect. have a customer saying those were the best fries I've had in ages or to have a customer saying they were the best lamb shanks, your signature dish is beautiful, is the same thing. Yeah. So there's no comparison from whatever you put up, it's got to be perfect. Ronnie, if someone wants to experience the uh, the Ronnie Gantos's menu, um, where can they go? Well, you got PJ Gallagher's in uh, Dremoyne, PJ Gallagher's Irish Tavern in Enfield, and PJ Gallagher's Irish Tavern in King Street City, and we've also got the Union Hotel in North Sydney. Ronnie Gantos, uh, thank you. It's been a delight having you on, and I love your food. Thank you. Pleasure to be here.